Hi guys, it's Mark Zickrey, Mr. Sci-Fi, also Mark Zickrey of Space Command. Now, some of you know me and know my credits, know my background, but not all of you. And uh, it occurred to me to uh, maybe list a little bit of my credentials, which are very different from most people's credentials. So I was thinking about this in our new media landscape where basically anyone can start their own YouTube channel and start opining about uh, movies and TV shows and what they like and what they don't like. And uh, most of these people I've noticed have essentially no background, no credibility, nothing that that uh, gives them their opinion other than that it's their opinion. It's the same as if you were just running into a random person on a street corner and saying, hey, what did you think of that movie? Or what did you think of that TV show? And they'll tell you their opinion. And of course their opinion is as worthy as anyone else's opinion. But one thing that sets me apart from a lot of the other critics TV and movie critics and people with podcasts and so forth is that uh, I've been on both sides of the equation. So I've made movies and TV shows. Many of you know I wrote for Star Trek Next Gen, DS9, Babylon 5, Sliders, Smurfs, He-Man, Super Friends, Real Ghostbusters, Friday the 13th, the series, sl Sliders, on and on, etc., etc. Plus, as a critic, I wrote The Twilight Zone Companion, which is the definitive work on The Twilight Zone. Uh, I produced The Twilight Zone Blu-ray DVD, uh, a Blu-ray and DVD set, particularly the Blu-ray set. If you want to hear me talk for 30 hours, you can buy it because I did 52 episode commentaries. So my point being that when I make an opinion or have an opinion about a movie or a TV show or a book, I actually have created those things and I've been... Uh, making television shows since I was in my early 20s, 22, 23 years old. I've been writing books since I was 21, started The Twilight Zone Companion at 21. I've been a professional writer since I was 19, and I've worked for all the major studios and networks over decades. So this doesn't mean that my opinion is worth any more than anyone else. It simply means that when I'm talking about writing books, making films, making TV shows. I actually know what I'm talking about. And now, of course, I have my own studio and I'm making Space Command and five other uh, TV shows plus Elaine's movie. So just thought I might want to share that because in this uh, time of instant entertainment, you'll often click on something and you don't really know someone's uh, uh, particulars. You, you know, they, they, they might say, well, I just watched this and it was a piece of crap, or they never should have made this movie, or, or you know, this guy's an idiot. Well, you know, okay, uh, fine, fine. But, uh, but one thing to recognize anytime you review a book or a TV show or a movie is that it took that person major time and effort. And if it comes from passion, if it comes from a genuine creativity and not cynicism, you want to kind of cut them a little bit of a break or at least be uh, empathetic to the fact that they put their heart on the line, they put their time in, they put the work in. And so any movie that's made from passion, whether or not it succeeds, uh, you want to kind of recognize that these are people who are actually, they have skin in the game. And it's one thing to have opinions and, and say this or that, but be kind if you can, be fair if you can, and recognize that um, we don't remember the art critics, but we remember the artists generally. And so that is, I think, the reason one does art because it lasts. And uh, we're still watching Ed, Ed Wood movies and you know, say what you will about them, at least that guy had a point of view. <laughs> so that's about it for now. Just wanted to mention this because I'm, I'm, I'm just aware that sometimes people have no idea who the hell they are, they're listening to. And, uh, and I, um, I've been in this game for a while and I love film and TV and books. I love being able to share my, my views with you guys on Mr. Sci-Fi. Spread the word. Subscribe, pledge, all that stuff. If you want to uh, come on set and see what we're doing, if you want to be a shareholder and uh, invest in Mr. Sci-Fi and uh, Space Command and the Showrunners Network and all that stuff, it's down there in the comments or whatever they call what I put, that, put on this thing. And uh, that's about it. Much more wonderful stuff to come. And we'll talk really soon. Bye.